In this video, we are going to continue with finding the constant of integration. You will find this on page 321 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. A curve is such that, and oh, do you see, that is the second derivative a function, negative 4x. The curve has a maximum point at 2 and 12. Find the equation of the curve. Okay, so what we do first is we're going to find the first derivative. Okay, so we're going to integrate that. But remember, that is still dy by dx. Let's call, because we're going to find two c values, let's call this c1, okay, for this, this step. Um, I think I should have also wrote there a 1. Okay. Okay. Now, after I integrate this. So, for the maximum point is a stationary. You must always remember that dy by dx was 0. So, I will substitute in that place. I will substitute 0. And then the value of x. What was the value of x of the point? It was 2. And then I find my first c1. Okay, now I have my equation, my first derivative. Okay, so I'm integrating again to find my original function. And let's call this now C2 because it's going to differ from that value. So now I know that this is a point on the curve. So now I'm just going to substitute that point into that integrated function. And then I will find C2 is 4 over 3. And then I have my final. It's not really that difficult. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number two. A curve is such, and again, it's the second derivative. Can you see that? That squares is showing it to you. Now, the, the curve has a stationary point at P where X is 2. Now, luckily, I just need that, not the whole stationary. I just need the X value. So, if I'm going to start by doing that one, I'm just going to, the first step is going to be to say, okay, to find dy over dx, I'm going to integrate, and now let's just get that, mm, sorry, I just wanted to write first 24. Bring that always up, so it's x to the power of negative 3, minus 4, and I'm integrating to x dx. So that is going to give me, don't forget, it's not y, it's dy over dx, and that's going to be 24x, negative 3 plus 1, that's negative 2, divide by negative 2, minus 4x, Let's call it also C1. Okay. Now, if I'm going to remember at my stationary points, can I just say? Stationary point. Can you remember from the previous videos? dy by dx will be equal to 0. Okay. So, and, and don't forget, a uh, when, uh, what is the value that they said? Uh, where am I now? When x is 2. Okay. So, I'm going to put now, just going to keep to that, a 0. And in the place of x, okay, I can just say, I just want to put that also, and x is 2. Okay. So, then I'm going to say, okay, let's just simplify this first. So, this is minus 12. And it was, if the it comes down, it was x to the power 2, so it was 2 to the power 2, minus 4, 2, plus c1. And that is going to be, this is 4, so this is going to be negative 3, minus 8, plus c1. And then, therefore, I can see it, if it goes 8, 19, 11, it's going to be positive. So C1 equals 
11. Now, I have to substitute it in there. So I'm going to say now, okay, let's, let's, let's keep to the whites there, dy by dx, and let's just simplify that was negative 12 over x squared. I think it's better if it's up. Sorry, I'm changing sometimes because sometimes as you go, you will realize, oh no, I think it's better because then I can go into integration easier. So it's negative 12, leave it first like that. And then just put there uh, 11. Okay. And now, now I'm going to say to basically, okay, find the expression for dy. There it is. That's finished. That was actually A. And now, if we can move up a little bit, I can move up to B. Given that the curve passes through the point 1 and 13, okay, interesting. So, um, find the coordinates, uh, given, uh, find the coordinates of the stationary point P. Okay, they want the whole P. But first, I'm going to, I'm going to first find my Y, my equation. So, I will integrate this again. I just like sometimes just to make it like this, dx, I'm integrating to x, so I'm going to say this is going to give me negative 12, and then don't forget, plus 1, so it's negative 1, I divide by negative 1, and this is, uh, and this is going to be 1 plus 1, 2, and I divide by 2, and bring the x in, and don't forget your c, but now it's c2, okay. So if I want to simplify this a little bit further, especially for, for the substitution that's coming, this is going to be 12. Um, I'm going to say y equals 12 over x minus ooh, 12 over x minus 2x squared plus 11x plus C2. Okay, now substitute. Now I'm going to go up a little bit again. Uh, substitute. Now I want to bring it a bit down, but you can just see that point. 1 and 13. Substitute. 1 and 13. So, this is going to be x, this is going to be y, so this is going to be 13 equals 12, 1 minus 2, 1 squared, plus 11, 1, plus c2. And that is going to be 13 equals 12 minus 2, plus 11 plus C2 and if I'm just going to quickly simplify that I'm just going to say 13 minus the 12 plus the 2 minus the 11 and let's just see if I'm correct on that one um, substitute I just want to see 1 and 13 yes it's going to be negative 8 so therefore, C2 is going to be negative 8. But I'm not done yet. Okay, so what is the equation going to be? I will now put it, bring it back. So y equals 12 over x minus 2x squared, therefore um, x squared plus 11 minus 8. Okay, but now if I move it down, if I move it down, Right, we go. They said find the coordinate of the stationary point P. Okay, so I just have to quickly, quickly substitute. I have, what is that? Uh, it, uh, it was two. Where x is two. So what x was two. So I just substitute that in. So I say y is equal to twelve two minus two two squared 
plus 11 minus 8. So 12 over 2, that is 6, minus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 11 minus 8. And let's just see, 6 minus 8, that's negative 2, plus 11 minus 8. And that is going to give me an answer. Let's just see if I made a mistake some, somewhere. Uh, minus 2, that's correct, that's correct. Oh, I see. I just want to see. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, luckily I see my mistake. Do you see? I didn't copy it correct there. There was, I'm going to do it in white. So it was 11. Do you see there? And it's 2. Luckily I had it work out. So now I can just correct it quickly there. And I like sometimes to, to show you the mistakes also that I make. Because sometimes the same mistake. So this was just a stupid mistake that I had to just check there. It was 11x. So there, oh, my color. There it was just a 2 minus 8. And that would have just given me here a 22. Okay, now we're going to try again. So 6 minus 8 plus 22 minus 8 equals, ah, oh, excellent, it should have been 12. Okay, so if I move it up, my final, my final will then be, okay, therefore, therefore, what is my point B that was 2 and 12? And can I just show you here, if you bring it down, if you bring it down, if you bring it down, okay. Find the coordinate of the stationary point. That was the question. Not that difficult.